check out the story I found in the New York Post with the headline, Hamptons Millionaires Build Lux, as in Deluxe, Panic Rooms to Hide from MS-13, you know, the gang, MS-13. Now, you may be saying to yourself, hmm, I know a little bit about Long Island, and I haven't heard anything about MS-13 being in the Hamptons. Well, that's because they're not in the Hamptons. There's no evidence that they've been within an hour's drive of the Hamptons, but that's too close for America's millionaires. Uh, so they're buying what the Post describes as fortresses equipped with bulletproof glass, weaponry, and panic rooms. They quote one a wealthy guy who has a vacation property out there saying, I sleep with a gun under my pillow, a Walther PPKS, the same one James Bond carried. Well. James Bond was a fictional character, don't tell him. Uh, my wife Margot, the guy says, prefers a shotgun, uh, although it's it's like the old ads for the Tempur-Pedic, you know. He likes the hard, she likes the soft. Okay, once she thought she heard something, got the shotgun out and shot through the door. Now they're th saying that, uh, uh, this guy says that he thinks MS-13 uh, is too close because the gang massacred four young men behind a soccer field in Central Islip. Oh, uh, let's see what else. Someone else, another Southampton homeowner said, quote, the gang is in Suffolk County. What's an hour car ride? They are near. Uh, now we get a business, so the, the head of one of these groups who builds this crazy stuff says, we get business when there is a tremendous amount of fear being generated. He says hey, products aren't cheap, six grand for a single window that, quote, you can beat with a sledgehammer without making a dent. And then there's the fact that, as someone else says, if, if one person has it, they all want it. So they can charge $200,000 for a panic room. And, and now they say, okay, people used to open up their garages and show off their Lamborghinis, now they take guests to the wine bar in their safe room. Another guy says, I finished a system for a hundred billion, a uh, hundred million, excuse me, that sounds like a lot, but there's nothing I know of, human or man-made, that could possibly harm this family for three generations, including global nuclear holocaust, a pandemic, or a second uh, ice age. Well, I can tell you something that could harm this family, even with their hundred million dollar retreat, Insanity can harm this family. This is the kind of insanity that you create when you allow gilded age on steroids, wealth inequality, to take place. As someone says, quote, in the Hamptons, it's hard to know if someone is an oligarch and lots of security makes sense, or if someone is just paranoid. So first of all, the two are not mutually exclusive. Uh, in fact, I, th I would argue that they often go together. But uh, secondly, look, people are getting bummed out because there are Humvees filled with security guards idling down at the public beaches and so on. This, you know, there's a really easy cure to the fear that these people feel, and that's to not have such an unequal society that that the wealthy few, and I know for a fact that there are ultra-wealthy people who are wildly paranoid, who live in constant fear. Well, you know, if our society was not so unequal, you wouldn't have, as you also have out in the Hamptons, jets strips where people are prepared to fly to their retreats in New Zealand when society collapses because society wouldn't be on the verge of collapse. So help a billionaire today by ending, working to end the economic system that creates all these billionaires in the first place. The best way to help a billionaire is by helping ourselves, is by elevating the working class, by creating an economically just society, by taxing these folks what we need to tax in order to, in order to build that society and to create security, not just for the wealthy and unhinged few, but for everyone.